as we announced uh, in the recent uh, last qu- second quarter earning release uh, you know we are uh, we have currently a set date uh, for a type b meeting with the fda so we expect to have fda meeting outcome uh, in december so we believe based on the two randomized positive uh, outcome on efficacy and then a good safety profile including long term uh, uh, you know efficacy and a safety profile long when i say long term efficacy it's not a double blind trial it is primarily focused on safety but still with the biomarkers and an efficacy generated consistency is there in the long term so with this data we believe we met the statutory requirement for filing an nda and, and can you can you just clarify what those yes. statutory requirements so are if you look at the ich guideline including the fda guideline mm-hmm. uh, it's not really uh, specific to phase 3 the guideline okay. clearly states you need to have two randomized trial okay. Which that you have. that is for uh, to see whether uh, you are able to reproduce the data from sure. the two trial we have reproduced if you look at our phase 2 Uh, data primary and then key secondary endpoints star kind of data is comparable and then in the then rec- another rec criteria is say uh, one year treatment with at least 100 patients completed and then 300 patients for six months mm-hmm. we have 303 patients completed six months treatment okay 159 patients completed okay. one so year. this is a 50% yeah. more than uh, uh, what is needed